G'day, welcome to Art with Alison. Now today I'm going to be doing a pour and see what happens basically. I've got some new paints, or new to me, uh, Araldo paints. I haven't used these before. I ordered them before I started hearing negative comments about them, so we shall see how they go. Uh, just to let you know, I've got the Araldo Black, the Araldo Cool Blue, Araldo Purple, Araldo Magenta, and I've got the Deco Art Extreme Sheen. Now, this is almost rare as hen's teeth at the moment, but I've been lucky enough to get some because I ordered it before it seemed to suddenly take off. Um, but I've only got four little bottles, so they are precious. But I went and did something rather silly, and that is I, when adding my, what I thought was Floetrol, which is in this bottle, to it, I in fact added white paint. <laughs> I've heard of that happening to other people. Oh, that one happened to me. I write all over the bottle, then I'll know. But no, I just instinctively picked it up and used it. So anyway, that's in the gold. Uh, so yeah, we shall see how that turns out. And then I've also got Deco Art Cool Blue Metallic. No, it isn't. It's Ice Blue me Metallic. And this one is a mixture of different deco art colours, which came to this lovely mauve colour. It's got some metallics in that. Anyway, we shall see what happens, basically. Oh, the white that I'm using is British Paint, has paint. Mix one to one with Floetrol. Uh, these are the Eraldo paints. I mix two parts Floetrol to one part paint. Generally speaking, though, the different ones did have different consistencies, as you would know. I'm trying to get the air bubbles out. When squeezing them out of these bottles, it does seem to make a lot of air bubbles. I was thinking I should wait till tomorrow, but I'm too impatient. I want to do it tonight. But yeah, doing this does help get the air bubbles out. To stop it from a height, brings the air bubbles to the top. Helps to get rid of them. Anyway, I'm just going to layer it. Start with black because I want black to be in the centre and then this lovely blue, I do like that blue colour, it's beautiful. And then the gold mixed with white. And now the magenta. Purple. Got some white here. Double check white paint, yes. White paint's one to one with flow troll. Um yeah. Actually often for these I do two to one, but it's done now. And I haven't taken the plastic off this. I don't really want to put that up right. Sorry, I know I talk softly. I need to try and talk more loudly because it doesn't come very, very loud. But when I start concentrating and thinking very hard, uh, yeah, I go a bit soft. Anyway, here's the ice blue, metallic. It all in there. And then I'll do some more gold. We 
with the white. I'll do some more white actually. Yeah, that white's sinking. I think it's because I it's more concentrated. I really should have mixed up another batch with a two to one. I didn't think of that at the time. Black. Lovely blue. Where are we going? More gold. I'll put the rest in. I might do a bit of mixing of the paints how I think of it. Make it into more of a dirty pour. Let's see if there's any more of that in there. Might just Flow troll. Because I find that with the British paints white, it often does help create a lovely cloud effect, which is what I'm hoping I'll get in this. I'm not using any satin enamel or Silicon oil. Let's see if we get any more out of this. It's just the flow troll helps to make cells all by itself. And I find that the, the British paints, white paint, also contributes to helping the cloud effect happen. Uh, I think I might just finish that off. 400 mils, I think that's enough. A bit more black. And yes, I might. Nah. No, I won't. I was thinking whether I should stir it, but no, it might end up going a bit muddy. Yeah, I'll get those, those a bit out of the way, because who knows where the paint will end up going. Artists out there would know. Alright. Here goes. So I'm just trying to think shall I put down a base coat? As you might be hearing, I have a house full of dogs, Labrador dogs, plus some baby puppies, about two weeks old now. So you might hear noises. I know one of the dogs is chewing up some firewood a short while ago. It's tempting to say, no, you can't have that. But I'd rather they chew up firewood than the furniture. <laughs> Anyone who's ever had Labradors or any puppies would know what I'm talking about. Go. Okay. 
this. Wow. They are beautiful. I'm going to stop there because that's plenty of paint. It's quite thin this time compared to my last ring pour, which I did quite thick paint. Let's just see what cells we can bring up. So if you bring up the cells now, then you can stretch them. Oh, there's some cells hiding in there behind the magenta, trying to come through. By heating it up, it just helps different paints with different densities to some go up, some go down. Just got to warm it up without actually burning it. Don't want to burn the paint, especially when I've got young puppies. I don't want any toxic fumes in the air. I love this gold too. It's so beautiful. No wonder it's out of stock everywhere. Once people start he started hearing about it, I think, yeah, everyone ordered up everywhere. Let's hope they manufacture more soon. There's some nice cells coming up. I love those colours. Alright, now I just... I'll just move it to the side actually. Just let that flow off the end there. It's a lovely ribbon of colours. I don't really want to lose too much, but of course you always do. Stop. I'll just bring that back to the centre. Slide it down. Oh, those gold cells become beautifully big. I love the way they turn into like boulders. Oh, there's a lovely ring of blue ones there as well. It's like magic what happens. Such fun doing this. Look at the end there. Wow, that's looking so pretty. Those colours. Right, I think I'll just bring it down a bit and then across to this corner. Come down. Guys, beautiful. Now, composition wise, I need to decide how I want this to end up. That's looking oh, carefully, let's sprinkle paint all over the painting by pointing. That corner there is looking beautiful. But I think I'll bring this back to the center a bit more. Slide down there a bit. That is looking gorgeous. I said it's like magic. You only have so much control and then the paint takes over. 
very happy with that. Might just bring that back to the center a bit more. Bring these these ones at this end are looking quite pretty. I like those blues probably more than the pinks down that end. So I'm not don't mind losing some of that pink off that end if I need to. Just stretch those blues out a bit more. Yeah, I know I'm losing that corner a bit. That's okay, it's still looking pretty. Just back that way a little bit. <clears throat> Sorry, I can hear my voice going quiet again. Wow, look at the paint that's come off. I don't know if you can see that, but that looks very pretty too. All right. Yes, I like that. Actually, I'm not happy with that corner there. And having said that, I might just tip some of that off that corner. It's got a bit muddy in the end there. Yep. Yep, yeah, woohoo. Ah, stick my finger in it. Oh, Alison. Need to tip that off now. Just down there, did you see? Got so excited. I wasn't watching what I was doing properly. So I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm just just going towards that corner. Just tip that off what I did then. There it goes. Try and bring it back. Just worry about the shadow. Yeah, a bit more ziggity zaggity because of all that back and forth. Oh, that's a pity, isn't it? It's not looking so bold or light now. Or oh, jiggity jaggity, but then that's quite pretty too. It's got to be more careful. It's all experimenting and finding out. So anyway, I bring you in for a close up. Actually, I've decided I'm gonna see if I can just get that to move down in that direction a bit more because I'm loving this light blue at this end. And it'd be nice to see if I can just stretch that out a bit more. Trouble is it's I've already tipped a lot of paint off. It's harder to move it. But yeah, that's straight. That's pulled it out a bit more. And it's actually lessened the ziggity zags a bit. Yep, that's good. Alright, now for the close up. There it is from this way around. That gold glisten, so beautiful. Those colours actually are working really well together, I think. Mauves and purples and blues. It looks green on the screen. Yeah, I guess it is a bit green. But from my angle, it looks more gold. I guess when you mix yellow with blue, you get green. Isn't that pretty? 
Love that. I love how the, the gold, the 24K gold, how it seems to grab other colours and pull them in and join in with them and just create some lovely, lovely colours and shapes. And there it is. Okay, catch you later. Bye.